Go on to the next page. Part 4 Directions You will hear some short talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each short talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Katie Burke calling from Kochco Internet Services. Mr. Clifford, the reason I'm calling is we haven't received your payment for the installation of the modem and cable. We need your payment in order to activate your service. Please contact us at 1-800-222-4503 between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Thank you. We look forward to hearing from you at your earliest convenience. Number 71. What is the reason for the call? Number 72. What is Mr. Clifford asked to do? Number 73. When does Katie expect to hear from Mr. Clifford? Question 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. I am pleased to announce the grand opening of Atlas Steels Corporation here in Hamilton. As Director of Operations, I can only try to express how proud I am. We will open the plant doors in early July and will look at hiring an additional 100 staff members. And then closer to the end of the year, we will most likely bring on another 75 people. We've expanded quite a bit since our first production facility in Milton to our present day plants in Portland, Rochester, St. Louis, and now here in Hamilton. We are looking forward to joining the community. Number 74. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 75. How many staff will the company employ when it opens? Number 76. Where was the first facility? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. Hello, my name is Claudia, and I am happy to be your host and guide this afternoon. It's currently 12.30, and we will begin our tour of the facilities at 1 o'clock. But before we get started, I do have a few announcements to make. Unfortunately, we do not allow any visitors to photograph the equipment or video the baking process. The first part of the tour will finish at 2 p.m., However, you will have a couple of unguided hours to visit our labs and tasting rooms before you leave the premises. Feel free to ask any questions that you may have at any time throughout the tour. I do hope that you enjoy your visit. Number 77. Where most likely are the visitors? Number 78. What will happen at 2 o'clock? Number 79. How long will the visitors be on their own? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following recorded message. Thank you for calling the University of Washington's library. To access a listing of staff and faculty extensions, please press 1 at any time. Our library facilities are open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. If you wish to access our political archives, an appointment can be made with Edward Phillips at extension 15. If you would like our reception staff to return your call, please leave a message after the tone. Thank you. 
Number 80. What kind of business is the message for? Number 81. What time does the facility close on Fridays? Number 82. How can a caller speak with Edward Phillips? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following advertisement. Do you like French food? If so, you will love Chateau Francois on the corner of John Street and Richardson Avenue. Stop by for dinner to enjoy traditional French cuisine, escargot, homemade bread and fine wines. For dessert, why don't you try pastries with fresh fruit and rich dark chocolate? The thing that makes Chateau Francois truly unique is the restaurant's location. Our newly designed chef's deck overlooks our estate vineyards and the beautiful Pontemac River. Enjoy the view as you relax over a glass of wine. We look forward to seeing you for dinner. Number 83. What is being advertised? Number 84. What is provided for dessert? Number 85. What does the speaker say about Chateau Francois? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following announcement. Good afternoon. I need to remind you of an upcoming event prior to the beginning of our meeting. Newport painters are arriving on Tuesday to paint the offices in the west wing of our building. The painter should be here for three days. If you have an office in the West Wing, be sure to contact Miss Peters in Human Resources to find out where you will be relocated to. Furthermore, remove all confidential files by the end of business on Monday. If you have any further questions, speak to Miss Peters. Number 86. What is the announcement about? Number 87. How can employees find out the location of their new offices? Number 88. What are staff asked to do on Monday before they leave? Go on to the next page. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. Good evening, Office Depot shoppers. This is your Office Depot sales manager, Kendra Williams, informing you of some tremendous discounts we have for you in the store today. In our stationery section, all computer paper is available at a 20% discount. Also, shoppers with an Office Depot preferred customer card will receive an additional 5% off of all purchases. Don't forget the electronics department, where computers, faxes, and printers are also on sale. And remember to pick up our new fall catalog as you leave the store. It's your way of learning more about all that Office Depot has to offer. Number 89. What is the purpose of this announcement? Number 90. What is Miss Williams' position? Number 91. What can customers receive at no cost as they leave? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following short talk. Starting next month, we'll be introducing the company's new database computer system. The new network will combine a few features that will help us to stay connected more efficiently, especially on group tasks. 
Please remember that all files from the old database will not be moved to the new one, so it's essential that all staff back up their files by the end of the month. If you fail to do so, important data could be lost. The full network will require two weeks to install. Number 92. When will the new system start? Number 93. What does the speaker say is the benefit to the change? Number 94. What does the speaker ask staff to do? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk. Good afternoon everyone and thank you for coming to this year's conference on organizational behavior. My name is Francis Lee and I'll be chairing the conference for the next three days. Each day we'll discuss a new area of organizational behavior. A few of the concepts we'll be covering include hiring practices, group dynamics, and project management. Each of you will be responsible for responding daily to the lectures and posting your responses on our conference website which also maintains a chat room for you to discuss ideas with your colleagues. Undoubtedly, during the conference you will benefit both from the lectures themselves and by interacting with your colleagues. We wish you good luck over the next three days. Number 95. How long will the conference run? Number 96. What is the main subject of the conference? Number 97. What must conference participants do following the lectures? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Good afternoon. This meeting shouldn't take more than 30 minutes. I wanted to make everyone aware of our new computer security system. Previously, we had been able to use any computer within the building freely without having to log on. Recently, the Information Technology Department updated our computer network, requiring each of us to use a password to access any computer on the premises. This should improve security and allow us to record employee productivity. Number 98. What's the purpose of this meeting? Number 99. Where will this new policy be enforced? Number 100. What changes have been made to the computer system?